It's even more special this week because it's Run Rich Run Week yeah. because of the pandemic. We didn't run it at the Combine. There was no Combine. And um, there are a very small select group of people who kept pushing. Are you going to run? We should run. How can we run? And one of them is a guy who took this, uh, this under his own wing, uh, his remarkably philanthropic wing, by finding my run on YouTube back in the day and saying, what's this all about? Let me try and join. And we had a chat. We're both from Staten Island. And I felt like I've known him for quite some time. He ran against Jerry Rice last year, which took moving heaven and earth to get that to happen at the Combine. We raised a ton of money thanks to his largesse and that of his friends who bet against him or with him, all in the name of St. Jude. That's my setup for saying this guy said, let's do it again this year. I'll get seven of my friends. You get seven more with Jerry Rice to run from the NFL Legends community. I said, done. That's a very yada, yada, yada way of saying we were able to pull it off. And joining me here is serial entrepreneur and somebody who has made quite the bid to purchase pending approval, the Minnesota Timberwolves. He is Mark Lorry. How are you, Mark? Hey, Rich. Great to be here. How are your hamstrings holding up? How are you doing <laughs> from that, that run? Was, that was tough. <laughs> it took a, it still recovered. Well, recovered. you were you were very generous along with your friends that you were able to get together. We just showed a shot of you with Ray Lewis on the screen. What was that like to run with Ray? You got a good story? Was he giving you any sort of uh, – you were teamed with yeah, Ray from well, the Legends community. Say, I'm glad I, he was on my team, <laughs> put it that way. Right, you got a chance to <laughs> feel – I racing against him. <laughs> yeah, you got a chance to feel like what it's like to be an NFL player against him. What was that like, though, Mark? Did he did he give you any words of wisdom, any any hype when you got yeah, down? Yeah, he was very competitive, and I loved it. It was great. I mean, we took it seriously, and uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. No, it's uh, and and everyone was excited to come back next year. So that's that's the key because I think you know this only gets bigger in future years, and we raised a lot of money for St. Jude, and just yeah, it was a great great day, great event. Dude, you always tell me that before the run. Like, what are we going to do next year? And what do I <laughs> what do I say to you every time you say something to me like that? What do I say? Yeah, <laughs> let's get through this year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like running a forty, Mark. You got to put one foot in front of the other until you cross that finish line, you know. And um, I like to just keep talking about it, and then it happens. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have you would definitely speak a lot into existence, and it, it's true, right? That you you were looking for a charity to 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 support in one of the many charities that you do support and you found me on on youtube that's correct right that's a fact that's correct that's the way it worked yeah basically looking for children's uh charities and researching and saint jude was definitely the the, the leader in my mind and and your video came up and i saw you running the 40 and I'm like that would be really fun and uh that's how it started yeah do you still think it's fun mark after I running do. It? it's more fun every year rich <laughs> <laughs> be more fun next year and Five years from now, Rich, this is going to be so bad now. No, that's okay. That's all right. Ten years from now, Rich. <laughs> By the way, we're showing a shot of me leading everybody out of the tunnel. There you are, locked up with Rod Woodson. I mean, this is so cool. That was a hell of a so day, fun. man. That was so fun. And, yeah, that was great. You know, and, and so uh, you and your, your, your cohorts raising over $1.1 million bucks for for the chance to run with everybody. Um I, I just want to give you the floor and just ask you, you know, uh, what do you think of when uh, obviously you've accomplished quite a bit uh, on a moment like that? Because it was nuts to everybody in the room, Mark, when that yeah, happened. Yeah, no, I mean, it was sort of, you know, exceeded my expectations. You know, I, I, I kind of set a number in my head that I thought we'd get to, but it mm-hmm. happened all so fast. And a few of the entrepreneurs kind of stepped up early with big donations and others followed. And it was just great to see. It was it was it was amazing i mean um and just gave me lots of ideas about next year i know sorry i live in the future that's no (laughs) look man this is why you are who you are mark laurie this is why you are who you are um and so the fact that you know i'm I'm preparing for an nfl draft while while trying to put this all together with the help of louise carter and dallas hitchcock and tracy perlman of the nfl and nfl network combined and you you were you were buying the timberwolves mark How, how did that come together while while this all yeah. is going down. Well, yeah, as you know, I mean, uh, it's me and, and Alex Rodriguez, and uh, we, we made a bid for the Mets. We we finished second. We didn't get it. But, uh, you know, we think it was a blessing in disguise because, you know, we're, we're super excited about uh, the NBA, um, and this opportunity came up. And 
it all happened really fast. Um, we really connected with Glenn. Glenn's done a, done an amazing job of of you know building the team over the last 27 years, and is looking for owners to sort of carry on his legacy and sort of infuse you know, a new way of, of, of thinking about things. And, and, you know, between Alex and I's skill sets and knowledge, we thought it was a good match all around. And Glenn seems like a great partner. Uh, we're excited to, um, you know, put everything we know uh, in, into the building organization. Well, I mean, and, and you're from my hometown of Staten Island as well. Um, you've already uh, gone to Minnesota, Minneapolis, gotten to know the community? Already? Yeah, yeah. Alex and I flew out there already. We spent the entire day there just learning the, the community, the team, players, met with all the players. Um, I had a chance to talk to Josh Akogi on the phone. Uh, Love to see what he's doing to, to really help the, the city there uh, along the lines of racial equity. And, and I think there's a lot we can do. Um, there's a great platform to do good, and we're excited about that. And, uh, yeah, and look forward to going back to Minnesota and spending real time there and getting to know the community and getting to know the fans and seeing what we can do. Did you introduce Anthony Edwards to Alex Rodriguez, Mark? Did yeah. you Did you, did you introduce <laughs> the two of them? So they're, yeah. they're all aware that was, of that was, uh, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, yeah. yeah. Hey, like, I know Mark Laurie, but I don't know Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> Now that's a story to tell, Mark. <laughs> that is a story to tell. I know I was going to come in to ask one thing of you uh, now that you're going to be hopefully, you know, knock on what everything goes smoothly and you're in the NBA and everything's going to work about maybe shooting T-shirts into the stands uh, once you do that. But maybe getting Anthony Edwards or Carl Anthony Towns to run a 40 next year. I don't know, again, if that's part and parcel that of the contract, but if we're as long that as we're, be great. you know what shooting I mean? Shooting T-shirts, sure. I mean, how about how about dropping them with drones? How about that? See, yeah, that's... we're gonna we're gonna really infuse some some new ways to think about using tech in the stadium and get some really cool ideas, um, which like... may include drones and dropping T-shirts. Okay, we'll we, we could do that. And then, like I said, um, what do you, what do you go? What are you already thinking about for next year? Because again, we're 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 hitting the finish line. We're trying to raise as much money at NFL.com slash Run Rich Run to try and match what you and your 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 uh, your fellow donors were able to do. What do you got for next year? What are you thinking about right now? More, more runners, more, more people. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think we get, I think we get more athletes, more entrepreneurs, okay. and uh, make it a bigger event. Yeah, I mean, we got the right. Obviously, we got the best legends in the game, but you know, let's get more and uh, do it bigger and try and. I mean, we're going to hopefully double last year. Yeah. Right, well, and if we can do that. We'll go double next year. I love it. I love the way you're thinking, Mark. And again, um, I always appreciate you trying to push me and push this event to go in a certain direction and um i can't wait to show the results of everybody's 40 yard dash including yours at the uh during the draft on saturday at five eastern time on nfl network and i appreciate all that you've done mark you have no idea how many lives that you have saved oh. and touched well thank, thank you thank you rich but really i mean you started this and you've been pushing it for a long time and it's finally you know starting to take off which you know is a testament to you and and you know the commitment that you've had to St. Jude over this period of time. So I'm just trying to help, you know, but you, you, this is your thing. Well, I appreciate you using the phrase take off in regards to the fundraising because that doesn't really apply to my 40, but we're going to keep working on that too, Mark. <laughs> we'll keep working on that too. Thanks for the time and thanks for your generosity right, as always. You take care. We'll chat soon. All right, take care. You got That's yeah, Mark bye. Laurie, everybody, at Mark Laurie on Twitter. Anthony, this is Alex. Alex, this is Anthony. <laughs> Hopefully camera's rolling on that. <laughs> 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 NFL.com slash run rich run. We're, we're currently near, nearing as well as there are two corporate partners, Lowe's, hey. uh, NFL Network game day morning uh, presenters, and Zebra Technologies have chimed in. And I cannot thank them enough. We are closing in right now at, with your donations and the other donations that have, chi- that have closed in as well uh, from some of Mark's friends and... Um, and NF, from the NFL community, the Ravens, once again, the Bashadis, uh, Steve and Renee have donated generously once again. Um, Eddie DeBartolo, in honor of Jerry Rice, he and the Bashadi family have both donated $100,000. We're closing in on one point five. dollars We haven't even gotten to Ohio. NFL.com slash run rich run. Every dollar goes to save a child's life 
And also, as part of that, make sure that the families never see a bill for the health care or the journey to St. Jude in, in Memphis or for lodging or for room and board. All of, that's, all of that pressure is removed so everybody can focus on the kid getting better. And there's also the research part of St. Jude. That's why it's called St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We've heard also from other members of the NFL community. I could not be more pleased about it. So please get involved. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.